Hey what is up everyone welcome to another video we have a special guest in this video his name is Langston I say special because his journey educational journey is a little different than normal educational journey a lot of time myself and other people study India and then come to United States for their masters uh, Langston did uh, India Dubai and then United States and that's what we talk about his unique uh, education experience I will leave the timestamps right here so you can skip to any part of the video you want to Langston if you're watching this video at all thank you so much for doing this it means a lot to me and our UD squad community last but not the least thank you so much for all the love and support you guys been giving me every single comment means a lot and encourages me to make valuable content just like this one so please keep commenting and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and now I'll let you enjoy the video. Let's do a quick intro like where are you from in India and what are you doing right now in United States? All right so I'm actually originally from Goa but I was Goa in India and I was born and raised in Dubai and then I started I did my high school and everything over there and I actually joined RIT Dubai from freshmen in Dubai like there's an art so just to know a little bit about RIT they have like campuses the main campus is in New York but they have one in Dubai Kosovo and Croatia and I believe in China as well so I was part of the Dubai campus for at least two three years and then the the thing about RIT is they have like a study abroad program which basically allows you to come to the to go to the main campus and study for like a semester or two and if you want you can transfer after that that's pretty much what i did after two years of doing computer security in dubai i did a study abroad to in the rit main campus and once i did that i transferred to the main campus because i actually liked it there um just another thing is that when i started at rit dubai i actually started out started off as a mechanical engineer Oh, wow. Yeah, so that's what was my first major because I had no idea what I wanted to do, right? Because I was like, everyone's doing engineering and I was like, okay, maybe I should do engineering too. And then after a year, I decided to change my major and I decided I wanted to get into tech a bit more. And I thought that I could be, I could pretty much contribute to that field. Um, and it's definitely something that I wanted to learn about as well. Yeah, and and you, you did your bachelor's in RIT, right? Yes, I did my bachelor's in RIT. Schloss. Got it. And, and before yeah, yeah. bachelor's, your education was in Dubai, not in India. No, no. no. I never, I've never studied in India. What's the main difference in education system in Dubai versus uh, United States? It's, uh, I would say the syllabus is more or less the same. However, uh, the resources were a little different. RIT Dubai was, it started in 2008, right? So it was just building and I joined like in 2013 or 14. So computer security in Dubai was still very new. It was not as sophisticated as how it is in RIT New York. Like in RIT New York, computer security is a huge thing. They have like a dedicated building only for that. And in fact, they're having a new building right now, which is coming up in case you do not know, which is completely dedicated to cybersecurity, cybersecurity projects and everything. We don't have that in Dubai. So obviously you have a very limited exposure to the industry itself, as well as the kind of projects that you can be doing. So when I came to New York, it was very different because I was surrounded with so many people who knows about, like so many people who are like my year or even junior than me who knew about the industry much more just because in the United States, uh, cybersecurity is a big deal. The technology is much more sophisticated and way ahead of from what it was in Dubai. Yeah. I learned a lot more when I came to New York compared yeah. to what I was in Dubai. So what's the visa procedure? Like, is it same as normal students go through or was it is it different in Dubai? I think it's the same, I think, because, you know, you once you apply, you have to apply online to get an, an interview and everything. I think mine was like less than five minutes. And they were like, okay, uh, I think your thing has been approved. Hi. And I'm like, okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> like, is cybersecurity going to be, is, is it booming field? Do you think there's scope and future in cybersecurity? Absolutely. I definitely think that cybersecurity is, it's something that at least it's much more in demand right now than it was probably five years ago. It's getting much more sophisticated because especially when you read about 
data breaches and you know credit card hacks or people accounts getting hacked and everything cybersecurity is a very big deal in every company uh right. talk about fortune 500 and whatnot uh it's definitely needed and this i still think that i think there's a there's lesser supply than the demand mm. even yeah. till today so yeah. and, i think it's a it's a good and, field to be in uh, yeah. if you like it yeah I was going to say, because the reason I ask that is because a lot of people think that cybersecurity means working for FBI and government. But there are a lot more other than those two, you know, government industries. Yeah, I mean, if you want to, you can work in the government if you're in cybersecurity. But I mean, there's, it's not just the government. It's every, every company, every co- company needs security in place you're going to need to have a security expert to be or at least someone who is a consultant you have to outsource it in order to make sure that your data is safe and whatnot it does not even f- from a small to a large company security is going to be important it doesn't matter you know like for example even if you talk about skype you want to make sure that it's a secure the, if we're talking no one's intercepting it you want to make sure that it's secure mm-hmm. so that's one example right yeah um, so I know a lot of people think that cybersecurity is FBI. It's all about hacking, which is true. You, there is that's a that's definitely an element in it, and it's one of the most exciting one. But that's not what all cyber cybersecurity is about. It's a lot about. It's like there are so many things that you can do in cybersecurity that like but within security itself, there are different experts. So there are people who are very good at pen testing, and that's their only job. There are people who do blue teaming, which is what I do. So you're in the defense side. Then there's red teaming, then there's purple teaming, uh, then there's just people who just do policies and procedures. Like, what, what do you do right now in, in your current role and where do you like work uh, if you want to share and what's your responsibilities like? Absolutely. So right now I work at the NISO, uh, which is located in Albany. So that's called, that's known as the New York Independent System Operator. So basically the company manages the New York grid and whatnot. I don't want to get very detailed into that. You can just look it up. But what I do is I'm a, I'm a, I'm a cybersecurity analyst. So my main task is basically, uh, I, I basically I'm at the front line. So I get to see every, all, all the internet traffic, whatever is happening, is there anything that's try, trying to breach our forces, our firewalls, and whatnot? Um, I basically look at that. I look, I look out for that, and what, and things of that sort. And if there's something that's happening, you know, if we are attacked, then obviously you follow an incident response procedure and things of that sort. So that's basically what I do. Uh, got in it. Yeah. And, and, got it. And what's the salary range for cybersecurity because that's very exciting part for i think for me and for my lot of my audience like, everyone was like oh i want to be a cybersecurity expert but paisa kitna milega like how much i'm gonna make um it depends on the place you are so if you, you could make for uh, i would give a range mm-hmm. so i would say like from 60 to 90 grand 60 to 90 grand i would say 65 to 90 grand is what you can expect uh from your first job and there could be another case where uh the, the company is in bay area and new york probably like main manhattan boston they might be paying more because they might be paying more absolutely so that's so i'm saying i think i'm talking a lot about new york but for, in new york at 60 to 90 maybe but like in california it goes up to from 100 to 120 yeah it could go yeah. up to 140 and yeah. uh, with added benefits and everything. So uh, I know that uh, at least a company like NCC, for example, their salary is from at least, it's above 100K for a cybersecurity consultant, an yeah. analyst. So it depends. There are different roles in cybersecurity. So depending on your role, uh, like if you're a security engineer, that's like a level two. So you would get much more, probably it's like 140 to 160. Yeah. Depends yeah. on the company. So. So, and is the salary based on like bachelor's degree versus master's degree? Is it like if you do master's, then you make more or it doesn't matter. It's really focused on your skill set. Oh, so it's yes and no, because every company has different requirements. Some companies, they're like, we just need a bachelor's degree. Some companies, they prefer master's. For example, Cisco, they only hire masters if you're an international student. That's a requirement, yeah. So I couldn't even apply to Cisco. Um, 
products, uh, whereas some companies that require certifications and they're good to go. So if you have like a security plus for CompTIA and you don't even have a bachelor's, they'll take you. But I, for the most part, what I've looked at, a bachelor's is the minimum requirement. And uh, if and sometimes they're like, oh, we need five years of experience, which is nearly impossible for anyone in bachelors. Yeah. Um, probably masters, yes, it's possible, but you know, it's not really possible for all. But for the most part, I think a bachelor's degree should help. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So now let's get into different career fields or roles you can get into when you uh, in cybersecurity. So different roles. Okay, so you could get as a cybersecurity analyst, like what I'm doing. You can get into pen testing. So pen testing is basically uh, attacking, you know, what not testing. So you're, you're testing a website or looking for flaws in the website. How if can you hack it? Can you not? What's vulnerable? What data is available on the website? Things of that sort. The security engineering, which is basically designing security procedures and protocols or basically making the designing building tools for a security company uh, then the security consultant where again that's more again that's more related to pen testing where so if you're a consultant you're, you'll have clients so you will like so for example zoom is one of my clients i go to them uh, i sign a contract with them for six months and i'm like i'll be pen testing a company for the next six months and there's like a whole scope and procedure and everything um, also, there's security research. If you want to get into the research field where you're researching malware, uh, so I think that gets down to malware analysts and whatnot. There's, um, yeah, that's, that's, I think, basically it's security consultant, pen testing, analyst, engineer, and then obviously there, is a, there are more senior roles, so you're like a senior analyst or a yeah. senior engineer. Mm -hmm.